don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Hey guys, we are back for another video. So I did get a small little update um, with regards to this Portia Williams and Simon Gobodi, Gub Gubodia. <laughs> Gubadia. Um, so let's just jump right in. So Simon has been on social media, guys. As you know, um, he is vacationing somewhere. <laughs> But anyways, let's jump right into this. Um, so he's been on social media making quite a few comments here. Um, so let's kind of jump into um, what's going on. But let's just quickly give a quick intro for some of the people who may not know what's going on because you sleep under a rock. Well, Portia Williams, Portia Williams, um, a.k.a. Portia Gubadia previous cast member of um love and i was gonna say love and hip-hop real housewives of atlanta she has filed for a divorce against her husband of 15 months simon gobody okay so simon is basically saying that he will stop loving portia when the divorce is final okay so this is what he is on social media saying that once the divorce is final, he will stop loving Portia. So it seems like, I don't know, maybe this is something that actually, you know, went down with their marriage and, you know, maybe that's, you know, why she filed for divorce because it seems like a bunch of commenters are in the comments basically saying that, you know, with regards to his criminal activity and perhaps her not knowing about it could be, you know, potentially the reason that she filed for divorce. Well, again, I don't think that Portia really cares about his criminal activity. <laughs> I think Portia cares more about how much money he has to give her. So I want to read to you guys some of the comments. So um, a commenter on social media stated, if immigration finds out your spouse be it your wife or other has a criminal record, it ain't gonna fly with immigration. So Simon Gubadia said, yep. So he said, yep to that. So um, then another commenter said, it saddens me to hear about the divorce. I also think about the vows you both took for better or, or for worse. The first test that came against your marriage your wife ran to the divorce court. Respectfully, it makes one think that the marriage was a marriage of convenience and not love. Mm. Despite all of that, what about your children whose lives were blended as a family? No one thinks about how the children are affected in the end. Divorce is easy. Marriage is hard work. I wish you, the, I wish you both the best in your lives ahead. And Simon says, respect um, with the praying hands. And then Simon goes on to say, he will stop. He says, well, let me just tell you exactly what he says. We'll stop loving my wife when divorce is final. So guys, it looks like just like, um, you know, I had anticipated and suspected. Listen. I just really don't believe that Portia really cares a rat's ass about his criminal record because really the criminal record was from years ago, okay? It's not like it's something that he did last week or last month. The criminal record is old, but it is a part of, you know, what he has done in the past. Um, so although all of that is coming out now, Simon just does not have the money that Portia thought that he had. And guess what? All of this stuff with his citizenship and now his criminal record is on display for the world to see, honey. Now, that don't make it no better. You know, the fact that he ain't wealthy like Portia thought that he was, and now all of this is on the blogs, but he is talking about, honey, he is going to love his wife until the divorce is final. Um, so this is what Simon is saying, which is 
really goofy considering, I mean, this is like his 30th marriage. <laughs> no, not his 30th, but y'all know what I mean. So Simon is, seems like a, just a, a old goofy dude. Like, I, I guess I don't understand why is he on social media anyway? Shouldn't he be trying to get his green card so he could at least try to stay in the United States? Because I don't even know how this is going to work with the divorce if he's deported. I mean, so if Simon is the is deported, I wonder like what happens with the marriage? Will they just give Portia a divorce without like this is crazy. This is crazy. But I don't know y'all. I really believe that it's more to the story because if you guys remember Portia when she, well, she's not that same Portia, but y'all understand how she act with Cordell. I believe she really wanted to be married to Cordell, but of course he divorced her, didn't tell her, um, put her out of the house. So it was just a bunch of crazy stuff going on. But I remember when Portia was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, she stated that if she ever got married again, that she would always make sure, you know, that she had somewhere to stay. So I just feel like this entire marriage was something that she was really expecting something else, but she went into this thinking that she was going to get all of these, you know, great things, you know, Fallon had a great house and her and Simon did buy the house, but it is really stated that the house is in Simon's name and or his business name. Y'all, this is a mess. This is a mess. I know some of y'all is saying that it's for a storyline, but did Portia really need to divorce Simon to have a storyline? I mean, I, I think it would have been more exciting to hear about you know, her new husband and, you know, to, to get to know them versus a damn divorce. Like every damn housewife on the franchise done got a divorce. Like I'm over the divorces, you know, cause you know, Kenya been going through one for 10 years. I'm so over the divorces at this point. So I don't know. A lot of y'all are saying it's for storyline. But I don't know if it's for a storyline because I believe the network really wanted to get Portia back on. And to me, Portia filing for divorce does not make her storyline interesting to me. Honestly, to me, it makes it less interesting because us real, real, how real, and I'm saying real, the real ones, the day ones, I started watching Real Housewives of Atlanta for the, you know, the wealth and all of that. Now, granted, when those ladies start started off, they were regular smeggler girls, right? Um, but I liked it, the camaraderie with them, with the ladies. And, you know, as they moved up, you know, in the ranks, then they started getting money. I liked it to see their their homes and different stuff like this. Like, I'm sorry, like that, but... Portia going through a divorce, which would mean she would just be regular Portia. I want to see her in a marriage. I wanted to see that. So I don't know about her getting a divorce, how that makes her storyline more entertaining to me. Like, I don't know. What do y'all think? I just don't think Portia getting a divorce makes her storyline any more entertaining. Like, I mean, I'm just keeping it real because Portia, you know, she has a lot of history on Real Housewives. And I, I, for me, I thought she had more um, to actually give the audience than a damn divorce. Like we saw Portia in a divorce already. I wasn't trying to see that. I don't know about y'all, but I promise you, she can just, you know, show me something else. Yes. So again, y'all in the comments talking about a storyline, but honestly, when I heard the news about Portia returning, I was set on getting to see her in her marriage. The, the divorce shit, they could have saved that for me. They could have saved that. I mean, again, I want to see the real wealth. You know, that's what I want to see. I felt like you know, Portia was with Simon, although everybody say that his, his wealth is, is not real. Um, you know, I was wanting to see it. So I don't know, but again, 
Simon is on here saying he's going to fight for his marriage. And I'm, I don't know. I'm really getting over these damn reality shows because if this shit is for a storyline, I'm going to probably be done with all the reality shows because the desperation is at an all time low, but I don't know. It could be real with it, with them getting a divorce because the, the, you know, the information about him not receiving the citizenship. Now that's real. That's, I mean, you can go look that up. The documents are online. So that's real. Could it just be that she left him and wants to divorce him because of all the controversy surrounding his, you know, his background and all of that. Now that could be legitimate. Y'all have to understand too. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to say that. So I don't know, you know, but I don't, I guess, well, okay, here's my thing. There is a bunch of ladies on these franchises that do a lot of thirsty shit, okay? For instance, Kenya. Kenya is thirsty. Kenya does a lot of lying. I mean, let's keep it real. She's been going through a divorce for 30 years. We got Drew with the fake storyline, her and her husband getting a divorce. Now, I believe Drew's um, and her husband divorce, I think that was for a storyline. I don't, I, I don't, I don't believe I've ever saw, and, and maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Maybe I'm forgetting something. I don't, I don't think I've ever saw Portia get down dirty for storyline. I mean, am I missing something here? I mean, y'all let me know, but um, Simon ass is online with all of this weird ass shit talking about he gonna stop loving Portia when the divorce is final. So, you know, he, I don't know, y'all. It could be real. And it, I mean, it could be for storyline, but again, I thought Portia was very entertaining. And I thought, you know, her being married and showcasing her, you know, her marriage and everything going on. I don't know that the divorce was going to make her any more entertaining because honestly, I was more excited about her coming back with her husband versus now it's a divorce. Because if they're going through a divorce, depending on what, you know, what stage they're at, we may not get to see her interact with him, which is like, I was looking forward to that, but I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. And don't forget to enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video.